In this video, I want to explain why I don't give advice or answer questions for free. I charge a fee, I charge a consultation fee. You must understand that I am very active on the internet and on various social media sites. And I have a number of websites, businessandlegal.ie, that's my solicitor's website, and employmentrightsireland.com, which is the employment-related website that I run. I get a huge amount of queries and questions and uh, from people uh, by email, by phone, and so on and so forth. And I don't answer questions or I don't give advice for free. I charge a consultation fee. And the reason that I do this, there's a number of reasons. Firstly, if somebody approaches me in relation to perhaps an unfair dismissal or a constructive dismissal case, firstly, I have to find out all of the circumstances and the narrative, the story surrounding the termination of the employment. I have to review the contract of employment. I have to review any correspondence, perhaps emails, perhaps letters. I have to look at the outcome of any investigation and perhaps a disciplinary hearing. I have to look at perhaps um, an appeal outcome and so on and so forth. There's a huge amount of information that potentially I have to gather and assess and review and give an advice on. Now, that's the first thing. So that takes time and it takes some expertise. The second thing is that somebody may come to me with a potential claim for, for example, constructive dismissal or unfair dismissal or whatever. And when I go through all the documentation and hear their entire story, it's actually apparent to me that they may have a better chance of a claim for maybe discrimination or harassment or something of that nature. In addition to that, there may be other claims that they may be able to bring if they're going to, for example, the WRC, that's the Workplace Relations Commission. So essentially, in the first instance, there's a lot of information that I have to gather. There's a lot of documentation that I might have to review. Now, the same principle applies to an inquiry about perhaps a property related transaction or an adverse possession thing or indeed a personal injury claim or something to do with education. All of the information has to be looked at and reviewed and obviously I may have to do some research then as well, but I am calling on my expertise, my experience and obviously have to spend time reading and reviewing and looking at the relevant information. I also perhaps have to speak to the employee or the um, client or the person that's asking the question to get more information to ensure they have a full picture. Then, if I go ahead and give it advice or give an answer to a question or give a consultation, and if the information is wrong or if I give bad advice, then I'm leaving myself open to be sued for professional negligence. Now, that's something that comes with the territory of being a professional. I have insurance for professional negligence. I am a member of the Law Society. I am enrolled on the High Court list of the role of solicitors. But for that very reason, if somebody asks me a question or wants to run something by me and I give an answer and that answer is wrong, even though I don't get paid, it's quite possible that that person can sue me for professional negligence. So quite frankly, if I run the risk of getting sued, then at the very least, I'd be foolish not to be charging some sort of a fee for my time and for my expertise. So they are the three main reasons why I don't answer questions for free. I don't give legal advice for free. I don't give consultations for free because one, in order to advise properly, I need to take some time to review documentation and a contract or contracts and other documentation. Number two, there may be other aspects to the potential claim or potential case that an expert might be able to identify. In other words, there's perhaps other claims that may be able to be brought on your behalf. And that takes a bit of skill and a bit of expertise and a bit of experience and indeed a bit of research. And finally, there's the question of getting sued. If I'm going to get sued for professional negligence, at the very least, I'd be irrational to have uh, dished out the advice, etc., etc., in the first instance for free. So even if you only think about the consultation fee as a contribution towards my professional indemnity insurance or my time or my expertise or whatever, 
that's why I don't answer questions for free. I don't give legal advice for free. And you may agree with me or disagree with me, but there you have it. It's set out there in the open. And as I say, you should not take offence. If you contact me by email or phone or any other way, and you want to run something past me or discuss something with me or ask me a simple question or whatever, don't take offence if I don't reply or give you free legal advice or f answer your questions for free because uh, for the reasons I've set out in this video. Hope you find it useful. I hope it at least explains the situation. You might be interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel because I give away a huge amount of free information on my YouTube channel, on my websites, businessandlegal.ie, employmentrightsireland.com, uh, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, you name it. I give out a huge amount of free information. But when it comes to a specific query about your particular circumstances, I do insist on charging. I do insist on getting paid for my advice and, you know, for the reasons set out in this video. Another reason is simply that I have a business to run. Obviously, I have overheads. I have professional indemnity insurance. I have rent. I have various other costs associated with the business. And I'm married and I have four, four kids. So obviously I have to make a living and I don't expect anybody to do any work for me for free. I don't expect anyone to come around to my house and cut my lawn or wash my car or paint the spare bedroom. And likewise, I don't think um, it's reasonable or fair to expect me to provide my time and expertise for free. Uh, and that's why essentially I'm unable to answer questions for free or give advice. Another aspect to it is simply I have obviously have paying clients and the, if I spent my time uh, answering questions for free and taking calls or emails during the day, for example, it would be very, very difficult to get anything done or be any way productive. So 